To a big update from NASA, Artemis still on track for Saturday's launch. Engineers say the issues that grounded the mega rocket's first attempt on Monday have been fixed. If all goes to plan, the rocket will be here on the Space Coast for just a few more days. The two-hour launch window opens Saturday afternoon at 2.17. It is expected to be a 37-day mission with a splashdown on October 11th. New 6's James Barbero walks us through the next couple of days. The clock is counting down toward NASA's next attempt to launch its most powerful rocket. The Artemis One mission managers confirm they're still targeting Saturday after fixing technical issues that popped up during Monday's launch attempt. Everything right now is on track. We have on track for 217 Saturday afternoon. NASA saying the two hour window over the holiday weekend remains the next opportunity to finally send the space launch system to the moon. That said, there's no guarantee that we're gonna get off on Saturday, but we're gonna try. The technical teams have put in a tremendous amount of work in a very short amount of time to get us here. NASA says Monday's technical challenges were investigated and fixed. Leak detection equipment went off. Including finding the source of another hydrogen leak. Monday's problems also included cooling the engines. Now NASA says crews received a bad sensor reading of the temperature and cold hydrogen was actually flowing correctly. We have convinced ourselves uh, without a shadow of a doubt that we have good quality liquid hydrogen going through the engines. NASA reporting the forecast for Saturday also improved since the previous weather report on Tuesday. Now the Space Force expects 60 percent favorable conditions for a launch. And if SLS launches, now NASA says the uncrewed mission flying around the moon will last 37 days. Previously, Artemis 1 was to be a 42-day flight. A final news update from NASA before Saturday is scheduled for 9 o'clock Friday morning. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results News 6. Now, if you are going to the Space Coast to see the launch, make sure you get to your viewing location early. 400,000 people are expected to witness the launch. That's in addition to the people who plan to head to Florida to celebrate Labor Day. Cocoa Beach will also host a big surf festival. Space Coast officials say there will also be four cruise ships in port with as many as 35,000 people getting on and off the ships. You can also keep up with the very latest developments on the Artemis One mission anytime at clickorlando.com. Just head to the space page or download our free mobile news app.